Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. Please subscribe if you haven't done so yet. We are today reviewing another Latafa fragrance. This one is in between masculine and feminine. I would say it's unisex, leaning more toward the masculine front. And that is Anna Abiyad. Anna Abiyad leather which means i am white there's nothing white about this fragrance i was laughing so much you can see that on my review in spanish because honestly this is not white at all but possibly it's got that name because it has the reminiscence of the riyadi men or you know people from emirates men from emirates wearing the abaya and wearing those long um attire the long attire in white i think it's called abaya but i could be completely wrong i'm sorry if i am um without further ado let's just open it and um yeah it has this little um thing that covers the main box which we can see again the Anna Abiyad and leather and as it opens quality wise the boxes Latafa are amazing their packaging game is fantastic this retails at 20 euros 20 pounds something like that it's halal it's great performance it doesn't last for too long but it's good performance for 20 pounds this is the 60 milliliter one and it's got a booklet where it's have it has the different latafa fragrances out there i don't think all of them are in this little booklet but it gives us some of the notes that it has and anna abiyad has orange bergamot as top notes it has on the heart pear and vanilla and musk and dry amber at the base so as we take it out it looks as such is a very glamorous little bottle we have some Swarovski crystals I don't think it's even crystal I think this is like plastic or whatever it is but you know it's it, they try they make it bougie and they make it funky it reminds me a bit of Mima fragrances, like that sort of length um, and, the, you know, the rectangle shape and this sort of like geometric kind of picture. Um, yeah, it's a very elegant bottle and it looks fantastic, really heavy. Like I said, this is really good quality glass, plastic. And let's just give it a spray. The exit is, um, what do you call this? Athar. Saffron. Saffron exit. It's got gera geranium. It's got leather to it. It's a bit bergamotty as well. It doesn't have oud, which is the only element to make this more oriental. This is so oriental. This is like a Moroccan garden. Um, I would see anyone just come out of their shower putting very crispy, clean and well ironed clothes and going for a walk in Jardin Marjorelle um, in Marrakesh. And I think this bottle, it's really, really affordable for what it smells. I think the element of leather gives it you know steps it up a notch and makes it a bit more luxurious it's got sandalwood vanilla makes it really really sexy and it develops a bit creamy when time passes but i have to say that it stay it stays crispy and clean throughout um despite having you know a lot of other you know other ingredients i think it stays quite clean um so yeah give it a try because i think it really deserves it i would recommend this to a young man or a very bossy girl <laughs> um 
and I would also recommend this to anyone who wants to smell luxurious and who wants to, you know, still keep a good, you know, clean scent. So, yeah. Anna Abiad by La Tafa Leather, the leather version. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I will see you in my next one. Probably we will be reviewing more La Tafa fragrances because this is part of a series and I hope you really like it. Leave it in the comments if you have tried this one. If you find any other things that you might um, consider appropriate adding and I will see you in my next video. Bye!